श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम बाय द वर्ड उपनिषद वॉट इज मेन्ट इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड देन our entry in the subject will be perfect upanishad this word is formed from three components one is upa second is ni and third is shad shad is the root dhatu where from we get different meanings see our satsang is like what there are four places where people gather number 1 free bollywood dance invitation second hospitals third temples and fourth gym now who goes to this bollywood free invitation bhogi they are indulgent in this world who goes to the hospital rogi okay. therefore the prayers of all the doctors is always like that sarve bhavantu rogina <laughs> whenever a doctor sees a healthy person they are miserable oh god aa gaya healthy kahi ka so rogi is go to the hospital the third place temples see people go to temple never for god only for fulfilling our desires okay. and the fourth place is a gym you go to any gym any time they have got so many freebies first month free you will get fresh towel you will get a cup of coffee but please come and yet nobody goes hardly there will be one or two what is the reason the reason is who goes to a gym only a healthy person goes to gym who wants to maintain his health all other places it is only the uh, bhogi or rogi or kami our satsang is like a gym if you are expecting that you have come to satsang and therefore your son will listen to you you are in a wrong place see friends therefore do not come with a wrong notion that like many people say humne bhagwan ka itna kiya kya mila kisko bhagwan ko <laughs> remember friends satsang is not a place to beg particularly when we are talking on upanishad upanishad we require a qualified person who is a qualified person he has four qualities one discrimination vivek second is dispassion the third one is the six fold spiritual wealth what we call shamadama uparatri shraddha tetiksha samadha and the fifth one is mumukshutva mumukshutva means we want to get out of this wretched miserable experiences of our life we don't have to change anything we don't have to go to himalayas wherever we are whenever we are whatever we are we are happy that is the goal of life while coming somebody asked me this question which is the place you like the most i said it makes no difference wherever you are how you are that is important. to some kids i was talking i asked them hey journey is happiness or the destination is happiness so only two options can come some somebody can say journey is happiness somebody can say the destination is happiness i said both of you are wrong what is the right company is happiness if you have got the best company 
you will be happiest. And which can be the best company other than ourselves? See, friends, when we are bored of ourselves, then we want other paraphernalia around us. So we go early morning, get up, go to our friend's house. And having gone there, he said, hey, come on, how come early morning you came? No, yaar, I was getting bored, so I thought, why not come to you? Early morning? How can you get bored? I was alone. Imagine, when a person alone gets bored, how solid bore he must be. His condition is like a patient who went to the doctor and told, Dr. Saab, I snore so loudly that because of my snoring, my sleep only breaks. What should I do? So the doctor said, go and sleep in another room. <laughs> See friends, we are fed up of ourselves and such people, they run away from themselves. Upanishad is for those who have come to this point that we have grown, matured, and now we want the ultimate fulfillment in our life. See friends, as stones and bricks we were inert. As plants we became alive. As animals we are, we became alive and we have knowledge. Animals have got better knowledge. So we have come to that stage, evolution. After having come as a human being, so what is the next evolution possible? Only one is pending and that is spiritual evolution. So our life can be fulfilled only if, don't worry about darshan of God. If we want to discover fulfillment in our life, let him express through us. God is happiness. So if happiness is expressing through us, our life is fulfilled. See friends. And therefore, for attaining this, we have to study the Upanishad. Upanishad is the ultimate uh, that is to be attained by every seeker of truth. And therefore, we take up this Isha Vasya Upanishad. This Upanishad begins with a uh, Shanti part. Shanti part means we begin anything by remembering the Lord so that we are at peace with ourselves. So, this mantra you all know. If you want, you can repeat after me. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purna Mudachate Purnasya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Now how many times we chanted this mantra? Let us try to understand the meaning. When the words carry the meaning, then it has an impact on us. If the words do not carry the meaning, it has no impact on us. I will give an example, doctor's example. Once I was not well admitted to hospital, two of us in the same bed bedroom, um, there was other patient, I was one. And they were giving me all rubbish food, barley water, boiled uh, rice and uh, superficial water and the other patient was given very heavy and good food. I was fed up of my food, he was fed up of his food. <laughs> Third day, fourth day, he refused to eat the food. Then I am a Swami, so I told, don't waste food. Annam Brahmeti Vyajanath. He said, whatever it may be, I can't eat, no, I am fed up. Such heavy food. I said, don't waste, I'll eat it. I ate. <laughs> and all the problems started cropping up. The doctors came, nurses came, and there was a big thing. 
and then finally they had to put a tube and bring out everything. So the doctor was so angry, wanted to fix a responsibility. He said, don't scold anybody, I ate myself. Because you are giving me rubbish food, because I am a Swami, and he was given a good food. He said, do you know what is your disease and what is his disease? He is having only a fracture. He can eat anything. You are having Kalina. I said, thank God, at least the name of the disease is good. Kalina. <laughs> I didn't know the meaning. No impact. He said, don't make joke. It is serious. Your large intestine is completely destroyed. We have to fix it. See, when the words do not carry meaning, it has no impact on us. Similarly, we keep on chanting mantras. Om Trambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Purva Rukavyobandhanan Vrityor Mukshi Yamamrtaat Kya samaj me hai? Similarly, Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate When this is chanted, we think now it is the conclusion. Thank God, Katam. See, friends, therefore what is said, others that Paramatma is infinite, complete, nothing is lacking in him. If ornaments are made out of gold, barring the grace of the goldsmith, what it will contain? Only gold, is it not? So if we are the expressions of bliss, where from the blisters have come in our life? Think, Purnamadaha Purnamidam. Because Purnat Purnamudachyate, if we are expressions of the divine, we cannot be miserable. Therefore, first statement we have to understand, do not justify you are miserable. Don't justify. First thing. Then, Purnasya Purna Madaya, and when you are able to discover your divinity that you are, Purna Mevava Shishyate, you become an instrument through which the divine is expressing in full glory. And when this happens, the three Shantis, first Shanti is at body level, second Shanti is at mind level, and third Shanti is at intellect level. Body level Shanti is, you will not complain about your body problem. See? Old people, all the time, when old person asks me this question, lady, Swamiji, I get so much of knee pain. Why it is happening? I said, Mama, I have got only one solution for all the diseases. Think properly. All problems are because of wrong thinking. What is there to think? I said, now you answer my question. Don't argue. Agreed? Yes. Why God has given us eyes to see? Why he has given us ears to hear? In the same manner, knees are given to pain in the old age. <laughs> Whatever medication you have to do, do it. We don't have to show everybody. Anybody can come. I tell you, what happened? Who is interested? See, friends, first Shanti is this. Don't complain about your body problems to anybody in this world. Everybody has, they are sufficient as regards problems are concerned. We don't have to provide. You are healthy, come. I will give you some disease. No. First Shanti. Second Shanti is at the mind. What is the problem of mind? Be attentive. Problem of mind is we are the victims of our personal likes and dislikes. Mind is a seat where likes and dislikes, these are the two viruses. Corona 1, Corona 2. And what they do? They have no logic. Example, I do not like Eggplant. Now what is the logic? No logic. You go to a Punjabi house. Punjabis, for them, the delicacy is Panganda Parta. So when I go to their house, they will be making their Panganda Parta. Such a pathetic dish it is, you know. Such a <laughs> shining, beautiful that the Bangan, it is roasted and skinned off and made all that kind of thing, and they give you. See, friends, so when they give, 
I look at it and think of Bhagwan Krishna. Oh Lord, can't you take any other avatar? This is only avatar left. So to remove that, I take chapati, put on that and eat it and take a glass of water without tasting inside. Now that Mahamaya thinks, I liked it. And another dose comes. Now what is the logic? That I don't like Bengal and they are like, no logic. Our whole life is guided by these likes and dislikes. What should be the spiritual practice? Whatever is available, enjoy that. That happens. Therefore, one of the simplest techniques is do not give yourself any choice. Lesser the choice, more the happiness. Now the third Shanti is at intellect level. See friends, intellectuals are most miserable intelligently. They prove I am miserable because of this and therefore it is natural. Never justify yourself being miserable. And therefore, our mantra is wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100% happy. You don't require to understand anything beyond this. If you want to know what is Bhagavad Gita, whole Bhagavad Gita is summarized by this one mantra. Wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%. Where was Arjun? On the battlefield. When at the time of war, what he should be? He should be a warrior or he should be a grandson or he should be a disciple or he should be a brother. He forgot that and therefore got confused. And therefore, this intellect takes us in a very wrong direction. Therefore, learn to be happy under all conditions. This is the meaning of the Shanti part. After this is done, then the purpose of studying this, I am going very fast, I am not going deep. The purpose of study of scriptures is only remove the myopia. You know, myopia means the one who has pia, drink maya, is a myopia. <laughs> and what is this maya or myopia? When you go to the ophthalmologist, they do not give you vision. They only help in assisting the adjustment of the focal length because our eye muscles are not perfect with age. See, if I remove my glasses, I will see you all as a collage. But when I put them, now you are separately seen. Therefore, what the scriptures do, they remove these glasses of Maya from our eyes. And we are able to see the truth as it is. Therefore, study of scriptures is for changing our vision. See, about this changing vision, what will happen? As is the vision, so is the interaction. As is the interaction, so is the experience. As is the experience, so is the life. If inter the vision is wrong, interaction will be wrong. Experiences will be wrong, life will be miserable. Therefore, where from we have to start? We have to start from our vision. You know, in our India, behind every truck, a huge wisdom is written, is it not? India is a land of wisdom. Anywhere you go, you can see the wisdom. So on a truck, it was written behind the backside, you know. Buri Najar Wale. No, not Tera Mukala. One intelligent person has written that behind. Buri nazar wale, apni nazar test karale. Bura jo dekhan mai chala, bura na milia koi. See friends. So we have to change our vision. It is for this purpose we are studying the scriptures. Not changing the world. You know, most of the people, so called walking spiritual path, their problem is like this. There was one NRI, American brand NRI, he came to India. And he was driving me from Mumbai to Pune in the old uh, 
national highway. Now the expressway is different. When we were going, he was driving the car. Suddenly on the road, a battalion of buffaloes were crossing. And he got so angry. Swamiji, what is this? I said, buffaloes. Why they are here? I said, you ask them. I can't tell. <laughs> but why buffaloes are on the road? I said, do you know, in India, democracy is not limited to human beings. <laughs> it is extended to animals also. You can go anywhere you want. No, nobody can stop. He became so disgusted, frustrated. I said, look here, my dear friend. Tell me, who has a driving license? You or the buffaloes? If you have a driving license, does it mean that the traffic will be organized? Your abilities should be such that you go through the bad times and yet you protect yourself and the traffic. That is the meaning of a license. Exactly the same way. When we are studying the scriptures, when we are walking the spiritual path, the first thing that should happen in our life is stop complaining about anything or anybody in life. We have studied scriptures. And for that, vision has to change. So here, the first mantra, again I will read, you can try, something doesn't matter. Om Isha Vasimidam Sarvam Yatkincha Jagatyam Jagata Tena Tyaktena Bunjitha Magrudakkasya Sviddhanam Now this is the vision given to us. When you look at the world, what do you see? So here the vision given. Isha Vastamidam Sarvam Whatever, whatever we experience, it is permeated in and through by the Divine Presence. Now when this is our vision, what will be our interaction? About this I will give one example. There was one youngster on a motorcycle flirting around. So he saw one girl going ahead of him. And very nice, small, cute, but from backside. So he went on his motorcycle and stood in front of her to say hi. And he saw it was 82 not out model. <laughs> the moment he saw that old lady, will he say hi? He said hi, hi, kis ko dekha. <laughs> from backside, he saw a good girl. But from the front, when he saw she is an old lady, everything changes. In the same manner, when you look at this world as permeated by the divine presence, our interactions change. Give one more example. In the world, Lord Shiva temple, I was there. One uh, mother came with her child. And Nandi Maharaj is there. Though the child doesn't know anything. He just came and rode on Nandi. He doesn't know what it is. So the mother got angry. Don't do like that. He said, why? It is meant for sitting on that. So for the mother, it is God. And for the child, it is a toy. The moment you change your vision, your interactions in the life will change. What is the vision? This is the vision. Isha vasimidam sarvam yat kincha jagatyam jagat. Then, as a result, what will happen? Tena tyak tena bunjitha. Your habit of indulgence in the world will be stopped. We become indulgent when we have taken something as a bhogavastu. Therefore, tena taktena munjita. And when we are not indulgent, we come back to our own self. And magrudak kasya svidhanam. You know, this uh, Indore in India is the cleanest city in a row for six years. When I go there, it's a very beautiful city. There are many places, they have got these uh, dustbins. It's written in Hindi. Sukha kachra, gila kachra. So people put the dry uh, garbage and wet garbage, 
sorting properly. When I saw that, I was so happy. I got a good example. All our possessions in life are sukha kachra. All our relations in the life are gila kachra. Whenever you have got kachra in the house, it is a stinking thing. Therefore, Mahagrudakka says with dhanam, life is not collecting, collecting things and things. See, you are all in this country well placed. Next time you go to your uh, walk-in wardrobe, you don't know where from to come out. It is so much. Inside you go, you start suffocating. So many things. That becomes our second nature. Friends, empty yourself. Give it a try. Any room that you stay, just for uh, experiment. Remove everything from that room. And just stay there. You can see the difference. See? All spiritual practices emptying ourselves. When we empty ourselves, then only the divine can express through us. Presently, our mind, our uh, thoughts are full polluted only with Sukha Kachara Gila Kachara. How can he enter? And therefore, Ma Grudakka says with Dhanam, don't waste your time only in money, money, money. There are many more things in life, much more than that. Recently, when um, Lata Mangeshkar died at the time of her death when she was in the hospital with some of her relations or anybody to him she was speaking slowly and she said please put it on the web so that people know and she said I had the makeup persons seven of them who is to take care of my hair my eyebrows my face my sari and everything seven of them I used to have such wonderful cars in the world. I had so much of jewelry. I had so much of bank balance. Here I am just pulled from here to there, from this room to that room. All that is only remaining here. But whole my life, I was only holding on to that. So this is my message to the people. When this we learn, before it is too late, then we have taken a right step on the spiritual path. Therefore, in our scriptures, there is a time in the life. It is called as Vana Prasthashram. Vana Prasthashram means what? You are ready to proceed to the forest. Prepare yourself. Now, how to prepare? Keeping away keeps your love intact. Constantly together, the love gets dehydrated. I have seen in so many houses, so many places. I will give an example, a Gujarati example from South Africa. I was uh, with them and an old man, he asked me, Swamiji, you tell me what should I do? I said, let's have a cup of tea. No, 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 not that way. Then, see my son, he is so useless, he is so bakwas. And started talking all ill about him. On his face, his wife is there, his children are there, his children, daughter is in college, son is in uh, high school. And he was talking old man all that. I don't know what to do with him. So I kept quiet. Then I said, we'll go to other room and I'll talk to him. I said, do you know what is the problem? You are the problem. Leave him alone. When a child is born, the child grows. The parents, uncle, auntie, dada, dadi, they never grow. They remain the only same thing. They never grow. Then what should I do? I told him, if you really want to help your son, leave him alone. Let him stay separately in some house. And out of anger, he says, okay. And I told his son, I say, now, don't waste time. So we shifted him to another town. And within six months, all his problems completely solved. His finger became like this thing. He was having asthma. He was having no confidence. He could not sign properly. Everything sorted out. 
perfectly well. But now the problem came with the old man. <laughs> old man went into depression. So he asked me, Swamiji, what should I do? I said, do anything, don't go there. But he went there. <laughs> he friends, tena tena bunjita, don't get involved in anybody's life beyond limit. We have to draw a line thus far, not further. Then we see, then we are, uh, we are understanding this uh, Upanishad. So, does it mean we should become lazy? No. This is another important principle. Never, never retire in life. Never retire. Till the last moment, work hard, produce wealth. See, in Mumbai, small houses. So the old retired people, Mumbai means what? Small houses and one bathroom. And uh, there are other people in the house, school going children, office going elders or and this old person, once he goes to the bathroom, yad gatva na nivartante. <laughs> so the old lady has to tell, morning you go for a walk and don't come back up to 10 o'clock. When everybody has gone, then you come and sit there. Because they are retired, they are not doing anything. So right from morning, breakfast ke liye kya hai? While eating breakfast. Lunch mein wo banao. While eating lunch, dinner should be light, okay? Make kichadi and this thing. Other than the food, there is nothing in the stomach and in the head. See friends, therefore never retire in life. Bhagavan says in Bhagavad Gita second chapter, Karmane vadikaraste ma faleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur buhu ma te sangha astu akarmani. Akarmani means retirement. Never retire in life. This is what it is here. here. Kur, now repeat after me. Kurvan ne veha karmani. Jiji vishe chatagam sama. Evam tvai nanya te tosti. Na karma lipyate nare. Now here the teacher is telling, Kurvan ne veha karmani jiji visheshatagam sama. If you take that popular translations, which I don't subscribe, I don't like their translation. Popular translation is, doing your karma, desire to live 100 years. No. I don't like that. Then do every action in such a manner that you are 100% available. Whatever you do. Therefore all Mahamantra, wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be 100%. So Kurvan Neveha Karmani, don't add years to your life. Add life to every moment. Live dynamic, cheerful, happy life. Kurvan Neveha Karmani. Jiti Vishesha Dagam Sama, live 100% happily. Living at zero complaint level, our mantra is there. No complaint. Jiti Vishesha Dagam Sama. Then, evam tai na anyatha asti. There is no other way than to lead a spiritual life than this. What are the things we have seen? Four principles. We are all seeking happiness. Don't do that. Then, Express happiness. The search for happiness is the most miserable search. Instead of express happiness. Whatever we do body wise, speech wise, mind wise, intellect wise, it should only express happiness. So whatever physical work we have to do, do it happily, cheerfully. You will not be tired. See friends. In some house when I went for taking food, the food was very good. Sometimes mistakes happen. Food was very good. And after food was eaten, as usual I say, Anna data suki bhava, this formality we have to complete. So, their husband said, I also wish 
such lovely tasty food i get every day i said why when you come swami ji the food is so tasty and so wonderful every day it is not like this every day what it is f f f you know f f f fresh from fridge <laughs> and then it goes into the microwave and a pindadan is given cow <laughs> so she said swami ji what is telling it true really when you come the food becomes very tasty what is the reason i said you find out i don't know i said when i come to take food once in a year you are doing it so happily cheerfully whenever anything you do happily cheerfully you will not be tired and when you cook food happily cheerfully it will add taste to that otherwise i <laughs> no anything you do body wise do it cheerfully or don't do it therefore kurvanne veha karmane jiti visheshatakam sama add life to every moment that you live don't lead ab ji ke kya karenge aise marte bhi nahi par maro phir ji ke kya karenge he directly every moment fully evam tvai na anyatha asti there is no spiritual life much more than this now see these two mantras So what is spirituality? Change your vision. And what is the change in the vision? Suspect divinity in everything and being. As we suspect, do you know that person? I don't know, but maybe a thief. Are we are from the thief has come. So we can suspect something bad in an unknown person or unknown thing. Why not? We start suspecting divinity in our life. who sir comes in our life is none other than the divine incarnation when slowly we practice this what will happen our interaction with the world will change and when the interaction changes see what a difference i'll give one more example in bits pilani there is when very beautiful temple of mother saraswati and it is whole temple is constructed of marbles right from the road onwards you go step by step perfect white spotless marbles everywhere nice uh, pillars their nice designs everything so beautiful so when we look ah beautiful so nice so nice so wonderful good 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 but the moment we come in front of saraswati mata immediately all things disappear and you salute because both of them are only marble out of the same marble one marble is saraswati other marble is a step when you look at the step we don't salute but when we look at the same marble in the form of saraswati our vision has changed our interaction changes therefore friends let us practice this suspect divinity in everything and be nothing happens in our life uncalled for everything is needed for our evolution in this attitude when you lead your life na karma lipyate nare because you are not doing anything because of any reason but it is only to express the joy then you will never never regret in your life now this is the lifestyle so first is change your vision don't be indulgent then the third thing don't be covetous and fourth thing that doesn't mean you should be lazy be dynamic and creative till the last moment of your life after this complete picture of spiritual life is given now see here no where it is said take the mala in the hand and ram 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 and eat head of that poor rama no be dynamic friends in ram charit manas tulsi das ji says through the mouth of lakshmana when bhagwan ram wanted to dry the ocean so that he can cross and go to lanka so lakshmana became very angry and he says daiva daiva alasi pukara 
lazy people talk about the fate. <coughs> fate cannot touch you if you have got Purushartha in you. See friends, put efforts, then God's grace, we go the other way. Bhagwan ki icha hogi to milega. Why will he have icha? You work. Therefore, first we put efforts, sincerely, dedicated, and then finally his sanction. One young child asked me this question very. Children ask intelligent questions. Elders have nothing but only complaints. So, the child asked, Swamiji, you tell, when something good happens in our life, we say God's grace. When something bad happens in our life, we say our prarabdha. Because of our mistake, wrong thing has happened. Why double standard? Either say, Everything, good or bad, is God's grace. But we told, no, no, no. When bad things happen, we are responsible. Why? I said, look here. When bad things happen and we take the responsibility, then there is a possibility of improvement. We'll improve ourselves. And when we succeed in life and we bring the element of God's grace, then the arrogance of success will not pollute our personality. Friends, one may be able to digest failure in life. To digest perpetual success in life is very difficult. See, friends. And therefore, this is the lifestyle as a spiritual practice told in this Upanishad. Now, here the teacher is threatening. Be attentive. Masses are controlled in every religion by two remote control buttons. One is an element of guilt implanted in the minds of the people. And second, element of fear. A guilty person is controlled. A person with fear is always submissive. And these two principles are brought over here. The third mantra tells us, Asurya nama te loka, Andena tamasavruta, Tanste pretya vigachanti, Yeke chatmahano janaha. Those who are leading a suicidal life, Atmahano janaha. What is the suicidal life? Here the teacher says, Asurya namate loka andena tamasavrta. Asu means pran. Meaning, those who are indulgent people, their whole life is only bhoga, bhoga, bhoga and nothing else. Such people, andena tamasavrta, they are covered by a thick tarpaulin of ignorance. And such bhogi, they Tanste pritya vigachanti. Then, when they discard this body, again they get into the lower lives. Friends, there are three stages of our existence. One is the animalistic existence. Second is the godly existence. Third is the human existence. Both of them, animalistic and godly existence, have no choice. Only bhog. Only indulgence. Human beings alone have a choice to bypass and merge in the Absolute. And therefore, here the teacher says, Atma Hano Janaha. The, those who are leading a suicidal existence. Now, here there is a simple, very deep talk. Be attentive. Atma cannot be killed. So, how they are killing Atma? <coughs> now, here we have to understand. I will give an example. Somewhere I was. Uh, in a hill station and one lady she brought she brought uh, one uh, shawl and put on me we went for a walk nicely there was a nice green lawn we sat there so I took out the shawl put it on the grass I sat on there after our, an hour of talking and all was over I got up and started walking shawl was left there because I forgot it. I didn't bring it with me. She lifted it. 
clean it properly. If Swamiji, this shawl you left it there, your shawl. I said, this is my shawl, is it? Yes. Why you worry? Let it remain there. <laughs> Swamiji, you know that shawl is how much? 35,000 rupees. So what? No, what I mean, the shawl is meant for putting on the body and not putting on the floor. Be attentive. So, that object which is meant for putting on the body, if it is put, in the, put on the floor, it is the killing of that object, is it not? In the same manner, our human birth is only for one purpose, that let the divine express through us. Don't struggle for God's vision. Let him express through us. He can express only if we are empty. See, I keep on traveling now and then. So people keep on giving the things. Then I put that in the suitcase and suitcase doesn't get closed. Then there is no space. Then what do I have to do? I have to create the space. How can I create the space? I remove the contents. See? We are full inside. Completely full. Hands are busy in selfish activities. Speech is busy in self-glorification and condemning others. Unless we empty ourselves fully, he cannot express through us. And therefore, we all want to go to sleep. What is sleep? Sleep is a process of emptying. Next time, no, don't go. When you go to sleep, see what exactly is happening. First of all, we drop the whole world. Our achievements, our failures, our urgency, everything is dropped. We come home. Then, we drop the whole house. Then we go to our bedroom. Then we drop the bedroom. We go below the quilt. And after we go below the quilt, the last Maha Mantra goes on. Want to sleep? I want to sleep. I want to sleep. Till such time, I and want is, sleep doesn't begin. When even that I who wanted to sleep, when even that I is dropped, sleep begins even in satsang. That is why those who sleep in satsang, I like them the most because they have realized. <laughs> See friends, what is the spiritual practice? Atma Hano Janaha. We are meant only for this purpose. Now this mic is between you and me. Only because this mic doesn't make its own noise. Sometimes the mics make their noise. Electronic Omkar, hum. Sometimes the mic clears its own throat. In the same manner, when we are completely empty, we don't make our own noise. Then only we will be between him and his creation. This mic is between the speaker and the listener only because this mic has no agenda of its own. Completely empty. Exactly the same way. Unless we empty ourselves fully, he cannot express through us. And therefore, friends, we have to keep this as the ultimate and the topmost priority. That we must be an instrument so pure, so clean, so empty, that he will choose us. Instead of running after God, let him run after us. See? Example, how I run after Mahendra Bhai. There are so many people in this, your uh, Long Island, Short Island. Why I run after him? Because he is available, willing, capable. Therefore, I go to him. He has not called me. I have come here. 
in the same manner let him select us because then we are capable we are willing and we are available and this can happen only if we have no agenda of our own that is the fulfillment of life see friends upanishad says sarvani bhutani enam samvanchati everybody loves him likes him you know the fulfillment of human life is only this much we love everyone and everybody loves us life is fulfilled nothing more to be achieved nothing more to be lost that is what is meant here if we are unable to attain this fulfillment atmahano janaha we have given up this beautiful opportunity there was one beautiful story i read in rajasthan there are wells wherein you can get down by steps so big well huge uh, diameter and uh, just story the story no water in that and one old blind man happened to fall there so somebody from about to look here you touch the wall and touching the wall keep walking there will be a door enter that door and there steps you can come up okay so from above the upanishad god's message was given to him this is how you have to walk he started walking kept his left hand on the wall and started walking slowly 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 oh god how long i have to walk it is not coming and when he came near that door that time he had a khujli and he kept walking and during that khujli period the door has gone again punarapi jananam punarapi maranam punarapi janani jathare shayanam there is no end to it so we have to get rid of the khujli See friends, Kujli is bhog. Kujli is sukha kachra. Kujli is gila kachra. Then slowly and steadily focus attention on this, which is the ultimate of our life. Now, after having come to this, okay, now we are convinced. Now, please tell us what is this divinity? What is purna daha purna vidam? Can you please tell us? will follow that now here the teacher gives us in the fourth mantra aneja dekam manaso javiyo nainad deva apnuvan purva marshata taddhavato nyanatte titishtata तस्मिन्न आई गिव द सॉफ्ट कॉपी यू कैन सर्कुलेट अमंग ऑल ऑफ देम अनेजत एकम अनेजत मींस एजरू कंपनी द रूट दैट व्हिच इज नॉट मूविंग वन स्टेटमेंट दैट व्हिच इज नॉट मूविंग no work on it then we come to know words they move they keep on changing shri ram jay ram jay jay ram a line is formed then anejat what is that which doesn't move the silence doesn't move sounds move anejat the space doesn't move the objects move in the space so take that as a support and then start working on that that experience will take you to your own divine nature now for example sounds and the silence now this we have to clearly understand now i'll chant and then we'll see what happens Shri Ram, 
ஸ்ரீராம் ஸ்ரீராம் ஹவு மெனி டைம்ஸ் வி சாண்டேட் த்ரீ வை இட் வாஸ் த்ரீ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப்டர் ஒன் ஸ்ரீராம் தேர் வாஸ் எ சைலன்ஸ் Silence cannot be heard by the ears. Ears can hear only sounds. But we do experience silence, isn't it? Sounds were three. Silence was one. Therefore, make silence as an object of your awareness. Sounds are coming to us from two sources. one we produce the sound second is the sounds come from outside now start working on this one mantra anejat how do we produce sound when we start talking to ourselves now give it a try next one minute do not talk to yourself Now in this experience you were nobody now add one more parameter don't talk to yourself and listen to silence both together for one more minute when these two things are simultaneously practiced we start going from the periphery to the center this journey is not spatio temporal journey <coughs> this journey is from the virtual reality to the actual reality we don't cross distances in space we don't cross distances in time the journey is like what a husband becoming a man what he has to do <laughs> nothing so what will be the sadhana for the husband a happy husband is realized man he is playing the role of the husband but as a husband he is not miserable this is anejat so here one problem comes actually you know i am realized but people are not realized no 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 is not like that earth is one water is one fire is one air is one space is one mind is one there are not many minds e friends space is outside the hall space is inside the hall what should be our correct understanding the hall is in the space when the walls are pulled away nothing happens to the space if this is clear in the same manner air is outside air is inside if the inner and outer air connection is cut do kumbhak for half an hour 
you will not ask any question we cannot in the same manner mind is outside mind is inside that which is not included in the mind doesn't exist for us now for example you are seeing me now find out where are you seeing me where i am or in your mind if you close your eyes you can't see me think therefore mind is inside as a knower and mind is outside as a known therefore the body is in the mind mind is not in the body what happens in deep sleep the mind gives up the shape of the body and the mind individual mind merges with the total mind so in the deep sleep it is the total mind which is keeping the blood circulation the digestion the hair growth everything going on and that time there is nobody mind is there see friends wise people live at this stage this experience is like what in the left hand i am in the right hand i am i don't get it feeling left hand not good the right is good no when my tongue is beaten by my teeth there is no punishment to the teeth when the tongue digs the food in between the teeth there is no thank you dear no because everywhere i am we see the world as we have discovered ourselves when i take myself to be the man for me what is the world man and woman when i take myself to be a sanyasi what is the world sanyasi and non sanyasi when i take myself to be indian what is the world indian non indian when i take myself to be rich the world is rich and poor but when we discover ourselves to be anejo dekam that one absolute divine reality that we are from that standpoint everything is parmatma nothing else this is that we have not done anything no japa no bhajan kirtan no charity no going to temple no yoga no pranayam nothing this is the truth at this moment we are neither man nor woman neither rich nor poor neither in usa nor in india this common experience where experiencer is not born is the truth aneja dekam manaso javiyo and to attain this it is so easy it is so fast faster than the mind manaso javiyo anuman ji vise na manojo mardo tulle vegam jitendriyam buddhi matam varishtam we simply sit here and think about oh switzerland it must be very cold now if we go there in no time we reach there but before, even faster than that manaso javiyo that means we have the truth is not okay we can ask a question where is earth where is water where is fire we can't ask a question where is space answer will be where the space is not so we don't have to 
get the divine we are the divine therefore one of our mantra is na kuch pana na kuch kona man can become a husband husband can never become a man because he is already a man one frustrated young boy could not get married he went to the pharmacist sir i tried i am not getting married what is the reason please tell me so that pharmacist said first of all put dakshina here afterwards you people don't do it <laughs> put the dakshina he put the dakshina in his pocket he said now i'll see Mm-hmm. Aha! How can you get married? Why? Akanda Ananda Yoga. He has got the Akanda Ananda Yoga. Therefore, you cannot get married now. Sorry. <coughs> See your friends. Relax, relax, relax. Na kuch pana, na kuch kona. then how is the life life is just a time pass see when you take this attitude you live cheerfully happily like a child without becoming childish that arrogance of success and a guilt of failure will never touch our mind अनेज देक मनसो जयो नयन देवा आप नुवन पूर्व मर्षत देव मीन्स विजन देव मीन्स सेंस ऑर्गन्स सेंस ऑर्गन्स कैन नॉट कॉम्प्रिहेंड दिस दिस आर द डीप प्रिंसिपल सी दिस माउस इज सीन बाय माय आईज माउस कैन नॉट सी माय आईज रूल इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ knowledge is seen by the sense organs but the object cannot see the sense organs step number 1 go further my uh, eyes can see all colors and forms eyes cannot see the mind because mind has no color no form mind is the cause colors and forms are the effects effect cannot know the cause one child was fighting with his parents you don't love me you are very cheat and all that so what happened see in this album he was seeing his parents marriage album you did not invite me there so the effect cannot know the cause the colors and forms cannot see the vision now go further what are the five sense organs mind expressing through the structural eye is the function the vision mind expressing through the structural ear is the hearing ability and so on and therefore our sense organs cannot see the mind mind is the seat of likes and dislikes raga dvesha when we are under the influence of the raga dvesha our vivek our discrimination is suspended we start behaving in a very raw manner because the mind can never understand the discrimination therefore we have to rise above the likes and dislikes we come to the seat of discrimination i now this i cannot know life because i is available only during waking in deep sleep there is no i and life is expression of the consciousness so this is the gps we start from the objects come to the sense organs leave the sense organs come to the mind leave the mind come to the i dissolve the i come to the life give the life in the hands of the divine you have fulfilled your life when this happens while we are leading our day to day life then we have understood what is the meaning of spiritual practice otherwise 
we get lost only in the peri periphery. That is all required. Can we continue to remain in KG1, KG2 throughout life? We have to grow. Do karma, do puja, do poti, do bhajan, do kirtan, everything is required. That is not the end of it. We have to grow. And we have been coming here for so many years now. That's why Amma told me, Swamiji, enough of your bluffing. Now tell us something very deep. Now in this deep, they are sleeping. Now what can you do? They have gone too deep. Remaining, we'll see in our tomorrow's class. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachade Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om